What's up everybody, Big Sky Bowler coming to you again with another Analyzing the Two-Handed Pros video. Well, he's not a pro yet, but I'm sure he's well on his way. We're going to take a look today at Ryan Barnes. Before we get started on the video today, I would like to thank all of my Patreon subscribers, four at the bronze level and one at the gold level. Over the last couple of weeks, I have had several of you reach out for Patreon memberships. Thank you for supporting the channel, Eva, Levin, Andy, and Gary at the bronze level, and Xamphion at the gold level. Let's get back to the video. Ryan Barnes has not been on the bowling scene for very long from what I understand, and he has been able to learn in a very short amount of time a very effective way of delivering the ball with two hands. One of the things that you will notice the most about Ryan Barnes when comparing him to any other two-hander that you see throw on tour is that he has extremely high ball speed for his rev rate of 500. You have to keep in mind when you're watching one of these PBA shows, they are measuring ball speed at the point of release. So even though Ryan Barnes is getting about 21 miles an hour at release, at the pins he's still achieving well over 18 to 19 miles an hour with most of his shots. In fact, Ryan Barnes is what I would like to call a pretty speed dominant player. This is one of the main reasons why whenever you see Ryan Barnes bowl, you see that his angles are usually pretty closed down and he's throwing usually very tight lines to the pocket. He's got an extremely high ball speed and his rev rate does not match his ball speed. Let's begin by taking a look at the way Ryan Barnes starts his approach. You can definitely see that Ryan has a lot of his dad's approach built into his game and there's nothing wrong with that. One thing I really like about his setup is how Ryan Barnes holds the ball against his ball side forearm. As you guys know from watching my previous videos, I preach religiously that it is best for a two-hander to maintain that bowling ball on your ball side forearm throughout your entire approach. This will help you emphasize the proper release at the bottom, as well as providing extra stability throughout your swing. Just like Zach Wilkins, Ryan Barnes begins by standing extremely upright in his setup. Just like Zach Wilkins, Ryan begins his swing in step number three and does an excellent job of getting the ball into motion in one smooth, fluid motion and shape by allowing the ball to drop into the swing instead of pushing it very far away from his body. As you can see, Ryan is very efficient with use of momentum in his swing. He uses hardly any muscle at all to get the ball into the swing and to deliver the ball onto the lane. Combined with his long arms and his long legs, Ryan is able to achieve a very fast ball speed. Just like Zach Wilkins, Ryan achieves over 90 degrees of spine tilt as he approaches the foul line. This allows him to get the swing very high during the backswing phase. Just like Zach Wilkins' release, Ryan Barnes has a very smooth release point. He is definitely the type of player who lays the ball down very early and very quietly. Overall, there is a little bit of lift involved in Ryan's release at the finish. And I believe this is what is contributing to him not achieving a higher rev rate. Remember, a high rev rate is achieved by not only getting your hand very far underneath the ball's equator, which Ryan does very well, but it's achieved also by making sure when that ball comes off your hand that the motion is completed as quickly as possible. Adding lift to the end of the release actually reduces how quickly that ball comes off your hand. Overall, Ryan Barnes has a very strong two-handed game. One thing he definitely needs to get better at in the future is learning how to control his speed, especially when he starts to move inside. I've seen quite a few recordings of Ryan Barnes bowling, and whenever I see him move left in try to shape the lane, he always struggles because he maintains that very high rate of speed. Once Ryan Barnes is able to get that speed under control, I expect we will see him start to win on the PBA Tour in no time at all. That is, of course, after he graduates college. Thank you for watching the video today. Please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more of these breakdowns in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one.